Wow, look at this skyline. This is the skyline of Dar es Salaam, 2023. This is the part of the old CBD of Dar es Salaam. Today I'm going to explore in details the skyline of this part of the old CBD of Dar es Salaam. Watch to end, subscribe and like this video. My name is Bertin. Thanks. Our exploration starts from this part of Dar es Salaam city. As I have said before, this is the old CBD. Starting with this building, this tall building here that is covered with glass, this is Mzizima Tower. Mzizima Tower is one of the tallest buildings that is coming up nicely in the CBD of Dar es Salaam. So here we have two twin towers. We have Mzizima Commercial Tower and Mzizima Residential Tower. Mzizima Commercial Tower is over 145 meters and Mzizima Residential Tower is over 135 meters. Well, in this building here is the NIC Insurance, one of the insurance companies we have here in, in Tanzania. Ha, wow, look at this building, it's very beautiful indeed. This is the Rita's Tower. It is one of the tallest buildings we have here in the CBD. It has 113 meters tall and it is among the tallest buildings in Tanzania. It is the tenth actually. And just near it there are some banks. We have NBC Bank and we have these famous towers of Dar es Salaam. That blue tower is the tallest tower in Dar es Salaam for now. It has 162 meters and 40 floors. But also we have PSSPF uh, Twin Towers and we have MNF towers as you can see them there i'm going to give the details about these towers later so this is the old city center of Dar es Salaam. as you can see it there are many old buildings and this is because most of the offices that were here that were like the headquarters for the whole country have been shifted to dodoma which is the new capital city of tanzania so most of the buildings here have been abandoned maybe i can say that or they have changed the purpose of the buildings some are becoming hotels some are becoming apartments and some are becoming casinos so mostly there is no much to explore in the city center of Dar es Salaam actually the old city center of Dar es Salaam now that is the city of Dar es Salaam is having many CBDs so let us continue with the explorations so this building here as you can see this is the headquarter or Equity Bank, one of the international banks we have here in Dar es Salaam. And just behind it, we have Uhu Heights. So, this part of Dar es Salaam has no more tall building, but we have some headquarters of some companies. So, this building here, this is the Golden Jubilee Tower, it's one of the tallest buildings here, also in the CBD. So, I can say uh, we have most the banks the headquarters of banks for the city of Dar es Salaam, not for the whole country. And we have some hotels here in the CBD. We have some casinos in the CBD on the city center of Dar es Salaam. Uh, but now I can say this is not a CBD actually. This is not a central business district of Dar es Salaam. The central business of Dar es Salaam can be Kariako maybe. But this is just a city center. So if you want to explore the history of Dar es Salaam, you can just come here. So this place also at the National Museum, uh, which you can learn more about the history of Tanzania. So these twin towers, these are the banks of Tanzania. You can see them on the Tanzanian shilling note. But nowadays the headquarters of the banks of Tanzania has been shifted to Dodoma. So this has remained at the small office for Dar es Salaam. Though many of the events and many of the activities about banking are being done here. So just behind the Bank of Tanzania, we have the State House. And mind you, this is not a, 
national state house. The national state house is found at Chamuino Dodoma. Uh, this is like the state house of Dar es Salaam. So some other buildings here are for the institutions. Like we have the Institution of Finance Management, IFM, which is among the biggest finance universities in Tanzania. And this is the city center of Dar es Salaam. The city center of Dar es Salaam, I can say, does not have many things to explore. So most of the services that you can need from Dar es Salaam, you can just find in other parts of Dar es Salaam, but not in the city center of Dar es Salaam. And this is the port of Dar es Salaam, as you can see some ships here. And this is as a near front cathedral for the Lutheran Church. So the port of Dar es Salaam serves uh, mostly many parts of Tanzania, the whole country, but also some countries like Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Congo, DRC, uh, Malawi, Mozambique. Most are saved by this port, the port of Dar es Salaam. So activities that are found in these tall buildings mostly are offices and hotels plus casinos like this Ritter's Tower it has some apartments there we have some offices uh, this NIC for insurance so the government of the restaurant in order to make this part of the city center to be more lively maybe I could advise they can give permits to some building to become restaurants especially those abandoned buildings but just to become caves so that in the evening hours, people can come to the city centre to enjoy themselves. But on all, the city of Dar es Salaam is very beautiful. Look at the skies, look at the buildings, are very beautiful. Subscribe, like and share this video. Thanks.